Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Saturday the 18th of June. Uh, doing the vlog on a Saturday of course because I'm here uh, because it's the High UK Northern Meetup Day. Um, so they're all coming between 12 and 5 I think today. Uh, it's just 10 now. Starting to try and get things ready. Um, so uh, yeah, so this week has been pretty steady away. Um, not been the easiest of weeks because I've still uh, got um, the back pain uh, from whatever I've done to it. Um, it did resolve itself on Monday afternoon, evening, Monday night, fine. Tuesday morning, fine, until I cleaned my teeth and somehow cleaning my teeth set it off again, whatever it is I've pulled or trapped or whatever it is on my back. So. Um, yeah, it's still not great, which is uh, a bit frustrating. Um, so that's made it hard work, and of course there's been loads of work to do. There's loads of roasting still, pretty much every day. This and the five kilo have been running. Um, just monsters of orders. And um, yeah, it's just been mega busy. So last weekend, given the fact my back was uh, not great, uh, I did try and just spend the two days uh, resting it. Um, weather wasn't great at all, um, particularly, nothing exciting. Um, but um, the other thing is, I um, can't really sit down <laughs> at the moment with the back the way it is. Or I can sit down, getting up again is a bit of an issue and then causes it more pain. Uh, so I ended up just stood up all weekend, which you know appeased it. Um, but it can be very tiring when you stood up all the time um, during a day, um, and just pacing around the house and whatnot. So um, I don't know. So I, I'm hoping it's going to improve somewhat before I have to give up and decide I'm going to have to have it medically looked at. Um, Although I think that might be something like a chiropractor because the doctors don't really get into backs. They just give you some painkillers and tell you not to do nothing. Um, which, of course, if I'd not been doing nothing since I had it, it probably would be all right now. But uh, I don't actually have that much of an option of not doing nothing. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, busy week at work, quiet weekends. Uh, and, of course... I've got a big Mr. Nellis' words of wisdom, because apparently he said it's doing me a super duper. Oh, what's this say? Uh, Mr. Nellis says, things to talk about on your words, all on your blog, his words of wisdom. So, what's Colm doing with me on Father's Day uh, as Richard's going to his mum and dad's house with his dad's present and car? Uh, strange enough, I'll be going to my dad's house with his present and car. I like the song called The Female Species by Space, it's not bad. My mum and grandma are going to Christchurch from Monday to Saturday this coming week. Well, that'd be nice for them. Can you remember Band of Bros? Not really. I have been to a party of magpies to do with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I have sung the National Anthem there on Wednesday the 8th of June. Very good. Mr. Hockney visiting his own in exhibition in Cambridge. Why not? Harry Hill doing musical about Tony Blair as Harry Hill reminds me of both my friend Paul Dave and Bob Bell as I haven't been, haven't been missing his vlogs and reviews too much since 2018 as we know that he's busy with plumbing. There you are. Price is going up as you still go to Tesco petrol station, a cheap one, and I have learned about food, petrol drinks, films at cinemas, etc. getting very expensive. I, I think it's to do with summer, Ukraine, war, Brexit, and maybe COVID, which are you right to tell me about it? Yes, yeah, so, um, well, I just go to Tesco because I've got Tesco club cards. Tesco's petrol station is the best option because you get club card points when you buy fuel. Um, I've got to admit, the fact that I've still got the loan car from the insurance company while my hybrid's getting fixed it is aside from the fact it's now been two months nearly um frustrating because the seat i've got on loan at the moment is diesel 
and diesel's really expensive and also of course it doesn't get the sort of mindful to get one my petrol hybrid did struggles to get to around 32 or 33 miles per gallon and the hybrid would easily do 45 miles per gallon petrol so it's costing me more in fuel this being running to malarkey um, and obviously the longer the repair takes which is obviously they're still waiting for the bumper and can't really give me the car back minus a bumper so um, a bit stuck but we'll just have to see what happens but I mean you know I, I don't know if Brexit is that much to blame with price rises um, particularly I mean obviously the main costs in fuel and energy is to do with the Ukraine war uh, because of those contracts but general food and general products and lots of things generally um, there's a lot to do with shipping um, and certainly the shipping containers because the prices for them um, have just skyrocketed um, and of course that means if it costs what it was it you know it used to be a few years back you could move a full container of goods for like two thousand dollars um, like with coffee you know you could move a full container full of coffee from wherever Columbia uh, and two thousand dollars, and now you're looking at maybe eighteen thousand. Uh, and that massive price increase has to be passed on. So obviously, if it's costing more to move stuff, because I mean, basically, what's happened is there's more demand for containers than there are containers to move stuff. So the shipping container the company go right. It's who's going to pay the highest price. You, know, you want to move stuff. We're going to set the highest price and then get the best value out of what we're doing. So, um, so yeah, I mean that's why a lot of things, the high street shops, everything else, you know, general stuff you buy, uh, there's a lot of shipping increases. Um, but yeah, it's all it's all very complicated, isn't it? Right, uh, I've got a lot of things to set up for this event that I, I've done nothing, I've done no prep because I've just been like, pff, so many other things to do. So um, I'm gonna get on and do my preparation. So I'll cut this short um, and we'll see how we get on with this um, Hive meetup. Okay, have a good rest of the weekend and week next week and I should see you in next week's coming vlog. Okay, see ya.